Hey everybody, what's up? Uh, today, uh, in this video, I want to talk about my Dometic re um, portable refrigerator. Uh, this is going to be a one year review of the fridge. And um, I just want to say that this is an awesome, awesome unit. Uh, it's an awesome refrigerator. It. Um, when I was first looking for a 12 volt refrigerator, to be honest, I didn't know um, I didn't know they existed, to be honest with you. Um, I knew the coolers existed, the ones they sell at Walmart, the ones that um, uh, run on the Peltier um, cooling units, modules. Okay, so I didn't know these existed, but when I found this, um, I, I was amazed that they could actually make a portable refrigerator that's actually 12 volts because I just assumed that refrigerators on average consumed a ton of um, <clears throat> electricity and I didn't think that it would work off a 12 volt unit, a power source, but it does. Um, the only negative thing I can say about this is that it takes up, it takes a lot of um, um, electricity coming from the batteries. <clears throat> I have three batteries hooked up to this thing and um, I have a 150 watt solar panel hooked up. Um, this thing will probably go through three batteries if it's been in like a day and a half, two days. So um, I know a lot of people are probably trying to, if they're looking for this, they want to um, hook it up to one single um, car battery. And um, I don't think that would work too well unless you have a battery isolator and you're driving the car around. Um, on a regular basis. Um, if you're not, you're probably going to need to charge up the battery, um, um, <clears throat> you know, to, to, to full to have this last um, at least a day on one single battery. <clears throat> but aside from that, um, you're getting a real refrigerator with a compressor, you know, that actually freezes, um, freezes water, freezes anything you want. You could actually have ice cream from this thing if you want. So, which is an amazing, amazing thing, considering that, um, you know, considering that, uh, <clears throat> it's amazing to me, because, because um, I just assumed that it, it uh, uh, such a thing just really didn't exist, because it was, it was just, it would be too, it would consume too much electricity for it to be uh, feasible. But, uh, like I said, um, I can't say enough good things about this it works the way a fridge works and uh, if you said all the way on high it works the way a freezer would work um, it's an amazing thing uh, it freezes it freezes um, anything you put in it ice soda or whatever if you turn it like <clears throat> if you th turn it three quarters of the way to the highest setting as a matter of fact, depending on where you put your food or your drink, it'll freeze it um, on on fifty percent uh, on the setting on fifty percent from like from low to high fifty percent. It will uh, even freeze um, stuff. So I, normally I have the setting to maybe like a little bit a little bit less than half, um, a little bit less than half. So that would be like forty percent. <clears throat> 40% will um, keep your food or your drinks nice and cold um, without it freezing. So it does its job well and it does its job um, <clears throat> a little bit better than well to be honest with you. So you could actually use this as an ice machine uh, over the summer if you want. Um, as far as issues with this, the only issues I have with this is... Um, there's a little red light and a red LED on the control panel that uh, tells you when uh, there's issues with it, when there's not enough of a, ch enough of a charge going through it, um, and that um, that issue. I've been having that issue. I have that issue like every once in a while, like once a couple of weeks, once a month. But I'm um, I'm probably guessing that the wiring I'm using for this um, isn't. Um, at, at the gauge that 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 you're supposed to use this um, at, so um, I'm probably going to change up that wiring, and hopefully that takes care of this problem. But as far as um, storage is concerned, uh, I'm going to show you guys. Um, you could actually store quite a bit of stuff in here. Um, so um, yeah, I got my sodas. 
um, cold cuts, uh, cream cheese, eggs, um, you know, butter, all the stuff you could put in a refrigerator, you could uh, put in this refrigerator. Um, it insulates really well. Um, I mean, what else can I say about it except that, you know, for a refrigerator that works in 12 volts, this works amazingly well. Um, I'm going to give this a thumbs up because there's really not too much that I could say about it. It's a refrigerator. If you want to use it um, as a freezer, you can use it as a freezer 100% of the time. With this unit, you can't go like, you know, there's no segmented uh, partition in this unit where, you know, you could use that partition as a freezer and the other part as a regular refrigerator. Um, it's pretty much refrigerator or freezer. So you could pretty much set it on freezing and you can set it up. Uh, on on regular um, as a regular refrigerator, so I mean that might be the only other issue that I have with this, but I mean that's the way the unit was made. So there there are other units where where there's um, a separate portion of the refrigerator of, of these portable refrigerators that actually has a freezing uh, compartment where you could put ice cream and all that stuff in, and the other portion where you could just use it as a regular refrigerator. But aside from that, um, this refrigerator. I think it cost me like three fifty. I, I don't know how much it's going for right now, but um, it's well worth the price. I mean, it's kind of expensive, you know, uh, two fifty, three hundred, three fifty, somewhere around there. I'm not quite sure. I've had this for over a year, but um, it's well worth the price. I mean, it's well worth the price. I mean, that uh, the other option is for you guys to get um, the cooler, the um, cooler that works off the Peltier mo modules and uh, I don't I don't suggest that because uh, I've been reading up on it and uh, it doesn't cool as well as normal refrigerator would there's no air compressor in there and it, it eats up so much electricity that, that it's 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 inefficient as far as that's concerned so uh, thumbs up to the medic thumbs up to um, you know these 12 volt refrigerators they're awesome awesome awesome